Hey everybody, it's Lena here from Crafty Shenanigans. Mixing up a little bit of resin here in this cup. I'm using Let's Risen. And I put this peacock blue in here. Just a little bit of peacock blue. Okay, I like that. Now, just a tiny bit of shimmer. Not much, because this I am doing is a turtle trinket box that I got off of um, Timu, if you saw everything that I was, was doing. So, this is the shell. Here's the body and the legs and everything. Well, I'm mixing this for the body. Look how pretty that is. Just, Alexa, turn off. Sorry, I was timing my, my epoxy. I also got these off Timu and they glow in the dark. So we're gonna try those. I've got some over here. I'm using my little puppy dog trinket box I made or cat one, or whatever you want to use it for. And let me get my alcohol. I have found that if I take a little bit of alcohol and spray down in these deeper molds and run it around in there like this, just run it down in there and all the little crevices and stuff that I don't get that many bubbles and sometimes I don't get any bubbles at all so we're gonna try that with this mode and you can hear me moving the alcohol around in there so let's see how this comes out okay so how's your day going I hope it's going well. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure I get down in there. It looks like I did. A little bit too much. But there it is, very light. I want it to be kind of shallow. Let me wipe here. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. Slide it over there. One of these days I'm gonna get one of those drying machines like Marv has on Marvel uh, Marvelous Artsy. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more to this one. I know you are thinking, why did you mix up so much resin? Well, I've got more projects I'm gonna work on. And uh, get this done, but that's enough sparkle in there for this one. So, now these little things, I'm gonna put in the lid. So, and yeah, see if I can get some down in there. This is not very deep mold, okay? So, let's see what this is, yeah. i will get a couple of little stones in there. And they do glow in the dark. My fr friend said that she had them in the hall checking them out. <laughs> okay. How's it over here on the rim? Okay, there we go. I think that'll do, less is more. And we're gonna pour this in here, slowly.
I don't want to run it over, so I'm just kind of just kind of setting it in there. I want to make sure it gets all down in there, all the way around the sides. A little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty awesome. Since that's level, no, I can add a little bit, bit, little bit more there. There we go. All right. This right here. I'm gonna move these out of the way. And this one is done for now. And see my little trinket box I made? And I, I did it white. And there's a lid. Okay, now I've got down here Turtles to fill up. Let's see how the little turtles fill up with the sparkle. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do this. Yeah, good idea, guys. Really good idea. I just want to check it out. Yeah. Uh, I'll fill these up. settle down in there. I'm going to squeeze that nose. Get that bubble out of there. I always forget about that bubble. See that little bubble right there? Alright. i got two more birds down here. Somewhere. These are the different birds. Alright. Let's put some spark glow-in-the-dark things in there. Alright. We've got some really bad storms coming in here today. After being in one tornado in my lifetime, I always make sure that I am prepared. The April 26 tornado in 1991, I was seven months pregnant with my second daughter and it came across McConnell Air Force Base. And I always wanted to see one. Didn't want to be in it but maybe someday I'll tell you about it. Mm-hmm, let's see, let's squeeze this one too. Just wanna make sure I get all the bubbles out of there. Okay. See that bubble on top? <laughs> Like, hey. All right. Is that bubble out of the front? I always lose the beak. And I like making all these little things because then I can add them to projects. So, all right. That is that. Let me get my alcohol and spray the top. And we are done. I'll be back and we will demold this one. Y'all stay safe, guys. The next day. Hey, guys. It's Lena here from Crafty Shenanigans. And I'm back with my turtle jewelry box. Let's see how it came out. 
So, how's your day going? I hope it's going good. Yeah, this one kind of ran over a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get all that off. And I'll clean it up with my stuff later. And, well, I see feet. <gasps> There's feet. Okay. And there's the little trinket box. Cool. Came out there. Let's do the the top. Now remember, this is supposed to glow in the dark, so we're going to find out if it's going to glow in the dark. Look at there. <laughs> that came out really cute. I'll have to clean this off, but that's okay. It's got this rough edging around it, and I think that's what caused this roughness here. So I may fill that in with some UV resin. Maybe sand it down and put some UV resin there. I guess I could clean this up some. Has anybody ever done that before where they cleaned up their mold? Isn't that cute? All right, let's do these little birds. And look, it has a beak. It has a beak. Look, I didn't break it. Oh, look at that. All right, let's get this little bird off. Oh, maybe. Getting it started. Uh, they're not the easiest things to get out. Oh, looky there. This one has a beak too. Oh, look how cute. Okay. Yeah, I had a lot of trouble with them because I couldn't get the bubble out in their beak area. And so when I demold them, there'd be no beak. Oops, I'm getting it there. I did learn not to do the polyurethane with these because they break. Yeah, you try to take them out and I've broke the tails off. Several of them, trying to figure out, but. Sometimes your hands just don't wanna work. And there's another one with a beak. And one more. Okay. All right, we're gonna take this. And there's another. Yay, look. I got little birds. Hang on. I'm gonna go get my UV light. We are going to turn off the lights here. Hang on. Look, they're glowing in the dark. It worked. Let's see. Let's do this one. Just a couple of seconds. Look. It worked. Awesome. What do y'all think? They're glowing in the dark. <laughs> that came out so cute. Wow. I like that. So that is the trinket mold, the turtle trinket mold I got from Timu. So that is so awesome. I'm going to have to make some more of those, but it's just neat that it does glow in the dark. And it wasn't really dark in here that much because I got the sunlight coming in, but yes. Look, it's so cute. 
but this I don't like, so I may have to clean up that mold. I don't know. The little birds. Won't those be cute on something? <laughs> I don't know what. I've got quite a collection of them, but there they go. So make sure you, you subscribe to my videos. I want to welcome all the new people and thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing. Hit that like and share my videos. It really helps me out. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.